I can be in my wheelchair and not have to hold the wheels and actually drive myself because I must stay conscious through the madness and chaos so I call on my angel Good morning or good afternoon it is 12:30 in the afternoon and I am headed to the Mayo Clinic. I haven't been there in some time. I swear I go days after days, weeks after weeks, months after months, and then I don't go for like months at a time. So I'm going basically I think just to um, discuss my heart and um, my, the heart monitor I had her on most recently, I believe. <laughs> I honestly don't even remember anymore because I don't go there often enough to remember what I've just had or done or discussed. So uh, it's about an hour and a half drive and honestly I love the drive the first couple times. I wasn't really happy about the drive but I got so used to it that it just became, I don't know, something I enjoyed a lot. Uh, of course if the weather's good then it's easier to enjoy it. And thankfully it's not snowing, it's not pouring rain, it is sunny out, it is 40 degrees, which is a heat wave for us since it was already um, like 40 degrees recently. So we're going to do that and uh, I have two appointments back to back at Mayo Clinic. And then back home, it's my mom's last night in town and she goes back to Atlanta um, tomorrow morning. So I will be spending most of my uh, uh, day with her. Well, not most of my day, but most of my evening with her. And of course, I spent my morning with her as well. So that's nice. And it's a very sad moment tomorrow. But she's been here for a month, and I know she's ready to lay in her own bed and, you know, see new scenery or whatever. Um, yeah, so let's see what the doctors say. here at the Mayo Clinic just pulling up here it is it's gotta go find some parking and then we will make our way into this extremely tall building all right so we are inside and you guys are on my lap because I am using my wheelchair and my uh, smart drive which is pretty amazing <laughs> So you can actually see my hands, and I'm not even driving it, and I'm moving, which I love. Pretty damn amazing, don't you think? <laughs> but we are 40 minutes early, and so I'm debating on what we should do. I might go into this store right here on the left and see what we have in here. Oh, these are super cute. They're cards, but they're like 3D. Oh my goodness. If only I had someone to give them to. I love them. I see you Super duper cute. Okay, so look at these. They have lymphoma, head and neck, um, ovarian, uh, I don't know what that word is, all cancers, breast cancer, kidney or leuke leukemia, so I just found, ooh. so I just found this one and it's completely zebra all around, you can't see because of plastic, but it says, um, around it, it says no one fights alone. So I'm definitely getting the zebra one, um, just because I don't have cancer, and these, you know, um, and a lot of these 
Iron for cancer. Okay, if anybody knows me, I am a pig person, like obsessed. And the idea of spending $14 on um, slippers, especially since I don't wear slippers, I don't like things on my feet, I like to be barefoot, is crazy. And I want these. But they have kitty cats, I don't know, a sheep, I think, a doggy. Oh my gosh, is this supposed to be a monkey? I think this is supposed to be a monkey. I don't know. Because I don't know, I don't want him. But I want the piggy so badly. Oh my gosh, the pig. $14, do I want to spend $14? I just found these ones as well. I like them because he's got the glasses and all, but I still think I like oops, these ones better just because it looks realistic with a pig. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Look at these. Look at how cute they are. They're like nurse and doctor socks. And oh my gosh. Oops. Again, they are knee socks. You can't see it, but oh my gosh. They're... $11, so I'm not gonna get these now, but now that I know they're here, when I come back, I'll buy them next time, because they are super cute. And another pair. I am dying over here. These are the ones that are like more like for shoe slippers. Oh my god. I want these really bad. <laughs> but these are $20. What do I do? Just got done doing my EKG and now I'm heading up to the sixth floor to meet with my cardiologist and discuss everything. <laughs> guys so I'm in the room right now waiting for my doctor to come in we're probably going to discuss my heart monitor that I had on just recently for a month um, I actually just went and checked the Mayo Clinic website and it says that my highest heart rate in that month was 188 and that was sitting or whatever um, and my lowest was 34 which I might have been sleeping maybe not because I do have a low heart rate as well um, but we already know I have an irregular heartbeat and I have SVT. So we're just trying to figure out, I don't know what we're trying to figure out. <laughs> but uh, something tells me today is just going to be very easy. Tell me things that we already know, things that he might be kind of lost about, which we already know that he's lost. So um, I'm probably just going to go home with no new information, but we shall see. And um, I'll see if I can try to record a little bit of what he says. They don't like anyone recording because it's a teaching hospital, but I'll see if I can sneak some information in for you guys. You got a wheelchair. Yep. How are you? I'm good, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm sad to see you with this, I don't know. Yep. Got it about two weeks ago or so. So, I mean, we had those, a few of those episodes, I don't know, I, mean, I don't know if, yeah. if it's going to make much difference to if we update and find a diet. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Um, it's like a small USB drive, this is, this is kind of the size of it, so I made it a little bigger, something like this. Okay. Um, that we inject under the skin and it just sits there. Okay. Um, and it can record your heart rate for maybe two years. Okay. Um, and you get you get another you get a remote control that you can trigger whenever you have something you can press and it records. And you have a home unit that it communicates wirelessly and we get information like huh. every day. Um, so that would be interesting. I don't know, you know, and then whenever you have an event we'll get uh, We'll get um, like a data, a, a data recording of it. We'll gotcha. get an alert if there's something. If there's a huh. maybe, maybe you can explore that. It's a very simple procedure. Um, 
can be done. We do it in the lab, but um, we do it just with some local anesthesia. It's a mm -hmm. tiny cut when we inject it under the skin, of, um, kind of below the breast, over the muscle. Oh, okay, right, interesting. Right like the chest, side of the chest. Mm -hmm. And then it gives us very good data for two or three years. Wow, okay. All right, everybody. So my appointment went actually pretty well. At first it was like, eh, but then he suggested something, which I will discuss with you in the car, but it was great. So time to go to my car, guys. Ah! All right, so I totally love the fact that I can be in my wheelchair with my smart drive. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> um. All right, guys, so I totally love the fact that I can use the wheelchair and the smart drive. I love that I can be in my wheelchair and not have to hold the wheels and actually drive myself because it is on the smart drive and it's automatic. And I get to just record us like this. Look at it, it's moving on its own. <laughs> All right, headed to the car. Night floor. Night floor. Oh, I just crashed. <laughs> All right. Okay. Hello my lovelies. So we are driving back home right now. I am so hungry. I'm like constantly thinking, okay, what can I have? And I'm like, do I want pizza? I'm like, no, I just made homemade pizza yesterday and I ate the whole thing to myself. And then I'm like, all right, I want a baked potato. I want some french fries. I'm like, well, those are really the same thing, but not. And I want like a smoothie and I want a vanilla shake and I want pasta and I want, I want, 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 I want everything. But um, so basically the doctor in the end said that, well originally he was like, well, I don't know what to do, like you are a really rare case um, and he's like, your, your uh, heart monitor that you wore last, you know, you had a you had a lot of episodes of high heart rates and then you and then as you thought it was over he goes but then you had a lot of heart, low heart rate he goes you're a mess you always have been i'm like that's me he goes you are uh, you basically have so many different things and you're just kind of all over the place and i'm like well you knew that i knew that and we kind of just laughed it off but then he was like sitting there thinking like well like there's not much we can do you know <laughs> and um and then he goes, well, I don't want to keep putting on heart monitors because we just, I mean, we just don't know, you know. And so he had a thought and I'm interested in it. So he's going to talk to my surgeon about it and see what his um, thoughts are, are on it. And that is to place a loop recorder implant in my chest. So basically a loop recorder is the same thing as like a heart monitor. Uh, but typically a heart monitor, you know, you have to either put like uh, uh, like a lot of wiring attached to your skin that's attached to like the monitor itself or you just have the monitor attached to your skin and then it goes into the system to your, your doctor but it's different forms and so it's gonna be an implant so it's a, I don't know like three quarters of an inch or something he said and it you know it'll be a procedure you know um, outpatient uh, so he wants to put that in me and at least we have two or three years worth and every day we can see it and there will we won't miss anything and we won't have that problem of it having like a default or falling apart or just breaking or battery dying or oh wait that was the one day that it fell off and I couldn't get it to stick and I had a really bad sick episode you know uh, that'll be nice other than that Maybe my doc, maybe my doctor, my surgeon will say, let's just do the surgery, the heart surgery anyway. I honestly don't think he will, but um, we'll see. So that's what I got out of, I got out of today. So it's getting dark out. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, but it is. 
We're uh, headed home. It's about an hour and 15 minute drive or so. It's a little bit more people on the road because it's, you know, rush hour time. I'm gonna go home, hang out with my mom. My mom is in town for a month and she leaves tomorrow. Uh, so I'm going to spend the evening with her and giving her hugs and kisses and relaxing, watching TV, maybe some binge eating, which probably won't happen because I don't really binge eat. <laughs> and yeah, so uh, we will, I will, not we, there's no one else in the car. <laughs> I'm a single woman show. Um, I will see you later. soda float <laughs> this is super good mm. I wish I had root beer but I didn't have any but I had orange soda it was my two favorite actually the only two I've ever had but mm. real good bye bye home and I wanted to quickly show you guys this is the pair that I decided to buy <laughs> And I'm going to go back to buy the other couple of pair that I wanted. And then I got this bracelet. Oop, where did it say? And then it says, you can't read it for whatever reason. Um, but it says, what does it say? No one fights alone. But you can't read it for some reason. But I'm so excited about these. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just gonna hang out with my mom tonight because she leaves at like 11 in the morning tomorrow. You could. Anyway, I'm gonna go to sleep. Everybody say zebra strong. And I will see you next time. Bye.